Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm showing you a tutorial on the isometric grid on Vectinator, which is a completely free vector drawing app for logos, illustrations, on your iPad or your Mac. This video is sponsored by Vectinator. So we're going to be creating something like this today, and it's very, very simple and easy to do. And it's got all of the basics of isometric design with sort of the shadows, the colors, and the positioning. Now, first off, what you need to do is go into a new document. So we're gonna go create a new one. I like to choose A4. A4 has always been a good sturdy one for me. Now, something that you might see that's a bit different on Vectinator now is we've got guides. So we're not gonna be bothering with these, but you can actually put down guides with the rulers on over here. So what we're going to do is go up here, click that little arrow, and we're gonna go ahead and make sure you've got an isometric grid. Now you might not be able to see it very well on here, but if you get it up and start looking at it, you'll see that there's loads of these little lines in square cubes. They look really strange and they're all at different angles. Well, isometric design is basically following the paths. That's all it is, follow the guides. And we use this for 3D sort of sketching, 3D design, illustrations, and for things that I'm gonna be showing you today. So make sure you've got isometric grid on like so. I'm gonna go ahead and press this little arrow button over here. Make sure your isometric grid angle is at 30 and the grid spacing is at 12.7. And we're gonna to go to the snapping area here. And you might see we've got snap to grid on. We've got smart guides and snap to guides. We don't need snap to guides on, but we do want the smart guides and snap to grid on as it will make this whole process a lot easier. Now isometric design is so easy. What we're gonna first off do is use a rectangle. And because we've got the actual guide set up, so it fits and everything snaps to the isometric grid, what we can do is just go ahead and place basically a square down like so, and you'll see it will snap. And if we try and move it, you'll see it sort of snaps to the grid like so. It's not very free flowing. So what we need to do is actually change the angle of the grid or the angle of the square so it conforms to the isometric grid to make this work. So we do this by going to the node tool, which is just down below from the select tool. And we're gonna go ahead and select both of these nodes here by just selecting them. And you can see that they're selected because we've got a black square there. And from there, we're just gonna go ahead and move it up like so. I'm moving both up. So we get this sort of weird angle of a rectangle. Now, if you put the top one up like that, you should put it down to the bottom as well. This is the half slate of what we're gonna to create today. So the next thing we need to do is create the other side. And we're using these in different shapes because it allows us to quickly change the colors. So we're gonna go ahead and select this shape. We're gonna go up to arrange and we're going to basically go copy, paste, and we're gonna flip it. And you'll see that it's flipped there and we can move it very quickly to this side over here. It looks a bit strange. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like a weird shape and you can't see any depth with it. It's just one solid color. So what we need to do is change this color to be an either a lighter or a darker color. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a darker color by just going to the style and just bringing that color down. And I'm slightly exaggerating it for you, but it doesn't need to be that dark. Now we've got sort of like a dead on view. So we're looking straight at it, straight at it like this of two sides. It looks like there's depth there, but we can go one step further. And this is the coolest thing about the isometric grid. What we're going to do is actually create the top part here. So the ceiling of the cube. We do this by going to the pen tool and we're just going to go ahead and dot it like so, following the grid. I want it to be the right angle of everything and fit and make it look balanced and nice. And as you can see, we've done it there. We created it with the pen tool by just dotting it around. We need to change this color as well. We need to change it to a lighter blue, change it ever so slightly at the top. So we get that definition. So we know where the light is coming from, which is basically up and down this way. Now that we've got this, this is the base of our shape. What we need to do is group it because if we don't, as you can see, if we move one accidentally, it sort of ruins the whole piece. So what we're going to do is just select it like so, go up to the arrange and press group and that will group it. So now when we select it, it will group by itself. It will come all the way. Now the next parts are pretty simple for the isometric grid. All you need to do is highlight it. You can go ahead and copy and paste it. And then we're gonna go ahead and move it like so. We're gonna move it like there. 
so that this line follows this line here. We're gonna move it down over here. Now, as you can see, it's not moving properly. There's a reason for that. It's because it's sort of snapping to the isometric grid. We don't really want it to. We want it to sort of snap to our own little beat. We don't want it to continually go and snap towards it. So what we need to do is go up, back up to this arrow and then turn off on the snapping area, snap to grid. We need to turn that off so that we can snap it towards our object that we want. Now that looks pretty interesting as you can see. It's sort of like a weird, you can make sort of an impossible shape with this, but I'm gonna make an emblem. And we're gonna do this by making sure that this shape that we've just transformed and copied goes to the back of this one. So we do that, we're going up here to the Arrange tab, go to Order and press this one, and this will take it to the back. So now you can't see it, it looks pretty strange. And the next part of this is very simple as well. All we need to do is select this shape, the one that we just sort of transformed, and we're going to copy and paste it and then flip it and move it, send it behind. We can turn off snapping now if we so desire. And there we go. We have our shape, we've got our emblem. You can change the colors to be really cool and really vibrant with isometric design. But this video is basically just an overview of how you can actually get the isometric look through colors and going with the guide. It's really meditative, therapeutic, whatever you want to say, but give it a go. It's really fun. This video was brought to you by Vectinator, and that's because this app is completely free. If you're someone who wants to try out design, maybe you're a beginner, or maybe you're someone who works on your computer, like a Mac, and you want to have a free app, well, Vectinator is the perfect one for you. It is free, it's on the iPad, and it's got everything you need to design on here, including text function, a fully-fledged pen tool, so you can get all those professional Bezier curves. And not only that, there's one on the Mac store as well, so you can use it on your MacBook or on your Mac. The app is completely free and you can download it and visit the links down in the description to get it in the App Store or find out more information. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe by pressing that big red subscribe button, turning on the post notifications so you never miss a Vectinator tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.